This is a quick video to show you how to create your own return envelope for your vote by mail ballot. First, print out the envelope template that is attached to the email you receive from the clerk's office with your vote by mail materials. Print it double sided and on 11 by 14 paper or legal size paper here in the United States. If you can't print it on legal paper, select Fit in the print options and it will just be a small envelope. On the side with the writing facing you, cut out the template following the most exterior red lines. Now complete the ballot certification on the back flap. Be sure to sign, date, and mark what voter category you fit. Print your name and your service address next. All this information is important and needed. Please do not skip any of it. Now your template is cut out and the ballot certification is complete. Lay it down with the security side up and the white flap at the top. Fold the side flaps over and fold the bottom flap up until you get to the red line. Tape it with a piece of tape on each side. Please do not feel the need to cover the entire envelope in tape. If we can't get it open to get your ballot out in one piece, it makes it difficult to cast. Now you have an envelope. Fold your ballot to fit in the envelope and put it in the envelope. Fold the flap down. Then using a single piece of tape, secure it along the bottom of the flap. If you received assistance with completing your ballot, the individual who assisted you needs to complete this section here. On the front side of the envelope, complete your return address and you are ready for the last step. Postage. Postage is paid if you are depositing your vote by mail envelope at a U.S. post office, in a U.S. post office box, an overseas U.S. military post office, or to an American embassy or American consulate. If you are not mailing your ballot through one of those entities, you need to pay for postage to get your ballot into the U.S. postal system. Once your ballot is in the U.S. postal system, the postage paid indicia will take over, but that does not apply outside the United States except for the places listed earlier. However, if you choose to place this envelope in a mailing envelope, the postage paid is voided and you will need to pay for the entire postal trip to the clerk's office. You can track the status of your ballot on our website at your voter portal. It will tell you when we have received your ballot. If you have any questions or concerns, please do not hesitate to contact us right away. We want to make sure your vote counts. We hope this video was helpful, and thank you for doing your civic duty.